It's been a big week in Dunedin and tonight the Southern City hosts its first Super Rugby match of the year as the Highlanders enter the fray and the Crusaders come to town. World Cup Cricket Orientation Week for the students. Now a big rugby match at Forsyth Bar Stadium. Is there any reason that this Highlanders squad and this coaching staff that they cannot win this Super Rugby competition? Well, the normal answer would be to say, yes, there is a reason, and that is if other teams with bigger team lists and all their stars playing well on the day turn up in front as a team as well. But you know what? We thought that last year as well, and they went just a, a whisker away from qualifying for that semi-final spot and, and maybe going one step or two steps further, who knows? They overachieve, they love going in as the underdog and the battlers and anything can happen. And they've won two under the roof here at Forsyth Bar, so no fears about coming to this stadium for the Crusaders. Great welcome from a very big and very noisy crowd here at Forsyth Bar Stadium. And it will be the Highlanders to kick off. Now Aaron Smith just impeded a little as he went to get the ball away. Now it's on the ground again. And Tom Franklin for the Highlanders, cuts it forward. Manu rolls to the ground inside the five-metre mark. Now Wheeler, taken by McCaw, just a couple out here. The home team coming for Smith. The referee has the arm out, but it's a try. It's a try to Aaron Smith. slowly back through the scrum and they give it straight to Johnny McNichol who runs hard at them. He stopped four short of the line. Drummond pops it up. Barrett is close but he's not there either. Well can they keep holding out the Highlanders? Franks is reaching in for it. He'll have the next go. Referee has the arm out. It'll be a penalty if they can't get it over the line. They're closer to try. Who's coming up with the ball? Well, it looks like it might be Barrett. Scott Barrett, in his first start, is the man getting the slaps on the back. Well, they've had to do this time and time again, the Highlanders. Can they hold on one more time? McNichol has a go on his own. Try! Had to score. Good on you, Johnny McNichol. He's pumped. Look at the body language. A lot of changes out there now. Scrum disintegrates. And Tanaka has it. And they give it straight to Naholu. Makes a strong charge at the line. Tanaka has a look one way, then the other. Dixon has it. They were offside, I think. He was asking the question of his assistant. Well, the Crusaders on their own line. The Highlanders need to strike here no, no, if they want any chance. Wide they go. Sopawanga shrugs off the first tackle and then gives it to Dixon. Ash Dixon caught just short. Now Fecky Toa. Unstoppable. There he goes. Oh, he throws the ball. And here, you think it's done, but Tafua, he didn't stick with the tackle. And Dixon found a way to get going. And yes, there's no doubt about that. The entry was wrong from Tafua. Then he goes off his feet. 
Well, it's bonus point territory as well, which is a minor consideration, I suppose, at the moment. Sopawanga. Angle kick is over. And it's 23-17. The Crusaders get their first win of the season. And they've beaten the Highlanders and continue this winning run against their southern rivals. 26-20, final score. So an early test here for Marty Banks. Nice kick. That's a real confidence booster. Here's Banks. Distance no problem. And accurate again. Six points to three. Here's Banks. Full of confidence and he's done it again. Three out of three. And he appreciates where the Reds back themselves. They got the endurance to just hold in that scrum time. There it is for Genia. Shatz though picked it up and Shatz goes for the line. Jake Shatz scores the try. The Reds haven't been in front of this game, but here's a, an opportunity for James O'Connor to give them the advantage, and he does so. So 10 points to nine, and the opening try of the match scored by Jake Shatz. to 10. Still playing the advantage. Tanaka yeah. hands it off. Naholo stepping and he got it down. Try for the Highlanders. Why Saki Naholo, that is sensational. He's happy. The Zoo's happy. Just defending. It looked like a forward pass and it's gone into touch. And that will do it here in Dunedin. The Highlanders have their first win of the season they're happy in the zoo final score 20 points to 13. yeah finished strong last week against the crusaders didn't get it across the line then finished strong again here tonight this time the victory the smiles from fumiaki tanaka but they've had to work hard the highlanders but so important in super rugby to win your home matches and that's exactly what the highlanders have done in front of a very good very vocal crowd
two men who will remember this moment for a long time to come. John Hardy playing in his 50th and Super Rugby's newest member of the 100 Club, Ben Smith. He debuted in 2009, has set the park alight since. Brilliant to watch. Mixes pace with sublime skill and electric feet. The boat they call Bender is rightly regarded as one of the world's most exciting players. Here's Marty Banks on the chase. Marty Banks brings it in. Here's Buckman. He's just on the accelerator. Bracky key tackle. Buckman keeps it alive. Smith will do the rest. Kisses the pill. Dots it down. The Highlanders have this one in the back pocket. I don't know, Williams. It's one of those careers that you don't really notice in building camps, but he certainly has done straight through his nose. Wysocki now, changes angle, heads for the corner, forget about it. Well, that's a special strike from Wysocki Naholo. We were talking about they want to keep him in the country and not let him go to France. Now we know why. Outstanding play, explosive winger. Really is a very good night for rugby here in Hawke's Bay. An absolute tragedy at 34 years of age. It's a sobering time, the loss of Jerry Collins. As the top two teams currently in the competition play here at McLean Park in Napier, and away we go. Nice pass as the Hurricanes look to open it up. Out wide again through Milner Scudder. Oh, look at this. Milner Scudder. He is absolutely... Oh, 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 oh. What a pass! And Blake Thompson... That was super. Oh, sensational. I tell you what, you want to get off your chair every time this boy touches the ball. James Marshall, what a try. Brilliant individual effort. And here's Julian Savia, and the big winger goes in under the posts. Play. Now he, oh, he threw it straight to Shields. He's dropped it off to Nono, and he's off again. 50 points and two to Nonu. But the final whistle blows and the Hurricanes are the top qualifiers in 2015. Final score, 56 to 20. into the final stretch in the race for the Super Rugby top six and it all kicks off at Eden Park on a wet Friday night. One team fighting for a home playoff game next week, the other desperate to send off one of its greatest players in fitting style. It's the Highlanders against the Blues. The Highlanders with the most to gain as they try and claim the all-important fourth spot. It will be the Highlanders to kick off. Hayden Triggs, a former Highlander, waits. So the last match of the season in Super Rugby kicks off at Eden Park. They'll try and drive it over. They've got this pretty well set up here. Though. To the line they go. And John Hardy gets the first try. Now having a go is Treby. And he's got it down. Sean Treby in his 50th scores for the Highlanders. So the Highlanders go on to the attack. Pick and go from Dixon. Desperate tackle made by O'Connor. Quickly through the hands of oh, beautiful stuff. Treby away to Osborne. He's in. And in for the try is Pryor. They are running loose here. Now oh, there it is.
Highlanders for the Highlanders again. Sopwanga drops it off for Treby. He's already got one. Smith again. Now Sopwanga kicks out for Patrick Osborne's wing. Pops it back in field. That is brilliant. And Ben Smith scores the try. Oh, he's got some skill. And that's it. Season over for the Blues. But the Highlanders now with a great chance to go back to Forsyth Bar Stadium in Dunedin next week for the first round of the playoffs after a magnificent victory, 44-7. For the first time since 1999, the Highlanders have earned a home Super Rugby playoff and there's great excitement in the southern city as the fans pour into Forsyth Bar Stadium for this all New Zealand elimination round clashed with the Chiefs. But as they come out onto the field, it's a moment that Hicker Elliott probably never thought was going to happen. Having been forced out of the game with a serious injury two years ago, he's made a remarkable comeback. Just two years ago, the Highlanders finished second from bottom. They've turned it around quite magnificently with their second straight appearance in the top six field. They've had the edge on the Chiefs in the last three games. They'll run out now to a thunderous ovation from this crowd. It's win or go home time. Sudden death. The first of the Super Rugby playoffs for 2015 in front of this boisterous crowd here in Dunedin. And Mark Reddish, who's returned so important. Well, a little snipe here from Aaron Smith gets it away to Nahulu. Just brilliantly to keep the ball in play. And now a storming run from Liam Coltman all the way to the 22. Smith fires it away. Sopawanga kicks out to the wing and Osborne. touch Aaron? or a forward pass. Aaron Smith's pass and then Naholo, who looked like he was going to get bundled into touch. They just want to make sure he got the ball back on the inside to Coltman before stepping into touch. Yeah, he has. He's done brilliant. Well, they just have to check and see whether that foot has grazed the touch line before he got the pass away. But, wow. Looking again. Keep an eye when the release is done. Sam Kane has put the hit on. Heels not down. Seems as out's in the air. He's fine. Looks good to me. Aaron, you need to pull the tail, obviously. He's rolled it out. Well, the crowd aren't happy. And now, the oh, penalty. And tensions are high early in the game. They are. Plenty at stake. You'd expect nothing less than a little bit of aggro, a little bit of agitation, I guess, from the Highlanders. Haven't had that call denied. And then, I guess, some pretty cynical play at the breakdown from the Chiefs. He's kicked 17 out of his last 18 attempts under the roof here at Forsyth Bar and a chance to put the Highlanders on front, in front in the early stages. Well, denied a try, but they get a penalty. If they can pounce on the loose ball, there's been a couple go to ground, all of a sudden they can go the other way. Hey boy, listen, listen. Hey, here's the mark. You go to the left, you go to the left. This is our own space. Yep. Well, not, but not much by way of points, but plenty of action. Well, I'd really like Crouch. to see just a simple 8-9 right Boy. here. Smith giving it to Naholo, letting him Six. have a go at his opposite. Naholo set to run from deep. Smith given plenty of room. Now he frees it up for Naholo, turns it back and feels oh. Aaron Smith. Tell you what, yes, boy, that's how to work it. He did it.
didn't just give it to Naholo, Naholo gave it back. Because he had momentum and he just put the hammer down, showed us some gas, that's what set the try up. So, Sohuanga from wide out. Started it right, it stayed right. He's missed two. For his own benefit and that of his team, he really needs to knock this one over. And he does. Crouch. He talked about the speed of Aaron Smith. He's made eye contact Crouch. on the right-hand side with Nahola. The Chiefs have put two across to try and cover Six. that option. The left-hand side, the option being on through the middle. Maybe Fikatoa taking it straight forward. Oh, Nahola's away on the right. And Smith goes to the right. Aaron Smith. Oh, oh, oh. Second try of the night to this brilliant Fijian winger. Will he be an All Black tomorrow? Spinning in the tackle to make another metre. Now they pop it up to Poliasi Manu. Messam with Kane on his shoulder. Now Elliot with Retallick on his shoulder. Tame Funa gets it away to Leach. And the goal line beckons, Poliasi Manu. Weber's going back to the left. Retallick is there, drives at the line, he's over! Try. Unstoppable! When you need big moments in games, big personality step up. And Brody Retallick for me started this, he won the line out. Sam Kane wasn't initially supporting his body weight. He decides to keep ripping at the ball and look at the reaction. And Aaron Smith, his reaction is the right one because for me, he's been outstanding tonight. 16 years they've waited for this. 16 years. Sopawanga, it's over. Chiefs and a big smile on the face of Nasi Manu. He gets to play one more at least. Well, Ben, the smile says it all. How's it feel? Oh, it's great. No, to have the support, and, oh, the team loves it, eh? So uh, we'll work hard again next week. We'll save this moment, but um, another big job next week. Talk about half-time when you're down one point, had a lot of opportunities in that first half, couldn't quite take them, but the second half you just continued to play your game. Yeah, I think, you know, we managed to play in the right areas of the field and um, we used the ball quite well at times. Uh, it was a good Chiefs team, you know, they really put us under pressure for 80 minutes and I'm just glad they scraped through, yeah. Did you have some things from last year you could draw on? You went to the playoffs, but being at home, the difference in front of this crowd, you'd love to come back one more time, but they were such an influence tonight, weren't they? Oh. It's a massive buzz playing in front of, uh, you know, this. This is awesome, and the boys really appreciate, you know, the support. And I reckon there's, there's a few points in that crowd, you know. There was times where you're probably hurting a wee bit, but they really give you the energy to keep getting at it. That's playoff football, isn't it? 80 minutes of effort as a team. You'll be banged up, but it won't matter. Bring on next week. Oh, a big challenge again next week, but we'll prepare really well to give ourselves the best chance next weekend. Congratulations. Well done. Cheers, Goldie. Thanks. Sydney since 2007. They won their regular season match in Dunedin in round five, but they have never gone back to back against the Waratahs, and they're back in Sydney. The Highlanders hope you do make it an all Kiwi final next week against the Hurricanes. They broke a four game losing streak in playoffs last week, qualifying for the semi finals or the last four for the first time since 2002. And here is the welcome for the defending champs on their home track.
to win back-to-back -back titles for the first time. They've won their last four playoffs at home. Their only semi-final loss in Sydney was to the Brumbies way back in 2002. Very clear from Craig. Should be a beautiful ball from the hollow. Oh, These no, guys work nicely together, and the penalty will come because Dave Dennis stays in the tackle a little bit too long. You can see him there competing. He's not now supporting his weight, and he's got his hands on the ball. Sapawanga. Has the radar working early on. Foley kicking across field, kicking for Rob Horn. Unmarked. Horn! Try! Rob Horn scores for the Waratahs. First time inside the opposition 22, and they come up with a five pointer. Set. Up by Palu. Oh, intercepted by Smith. Like a thief in the night. Oh, a, a run, Smith. Just talking about his pace. He is the everywhere man. Holo really competes heavily at the breakdown. And not happy either. Smith with that box kick again. More kicking meters than any other scrum half in the competition. And fingertip control there. Good work by the Highlanders. So 30 meters out. It's a critical Wait. tackle in there, Dave Dennis. Wow. Loose pass and a rare mistake from Smith. Not held! Not held Not as Buckman! Buckman! Into overdrive and he scores the try! Well, it came from nothing! Tackle Richard Buckman. That got a good pass away to Dixon. Now it's Sapawanga. And it's the hollow. The hollow. And who won the race? Or did it beat everybody? Gee, it's touch and go. By Saki the hollow. It looked like they had. The winger covered, but then they were willing it over the dead ball line, and the hollow thinks he got there. Wetness of the ball just kept slowing it down and slowing it down. Oh, oh this could be sensational. Yeah. Oh, what a try. And the Highlanders are back in front, 20 points to 17, with the kick to come, their third try, 12th try of the season for... The Holo picked up. They come back for a deliberate knockdown. A little bit of feeling. It's a semi-final. Well, I think there's some frustration from the Waratahs in particular. Every call has okay, gone against all right, them. All right. going toe to toe. Yeah, no, there'll be no damage done there. Okay. Okay. Sharp, a yeah. bit of uh, hands on the face, okay? 13, just release if it's a penalty against you. Yeah. Just wait. Try line, please wait. Yes, time is on. Good tap taken by Sabawaga. Smith. Island is ready to back themselves and that's why they went very close there. He wants to go upstairs to see if they got it on the chalk and looking at Aaron Smith, he's celebrating. Okay, go ahead. Okay, I'll tell you where I'm getting to. Yes. Swinging on to the head of a green player. 
who probably would have scored if not for the swinging arm. He's only millimetres short in any event. I'm thinking yellow card and I'm thinking penalty try. The player has prevented, the blue player has prevented with the arm coming across his, yeah, his head, and, yes. and probably scoring a try. Yep, correct. Yeah, thanks. Number six, please, I'll explain it to you now. Try to knock the ball over six. here, he's stuck under it. Yeah. Try to knock the ball, he's stuck under it. Just call number six for me, please. Hot it, hot it. Yeah, that's OK. Hot it. Shot. OK, the guy's only millimetres away from scoring. It's a swinging on to the head. It prevents a probable try. It's a yellow card and a penalty try. Double whammy. Penalty try to the Highlanders. Jacques Potgieter in the bin for 10 for a swinging arm. So, the Highlanders fans, and they've been outnumbered here, as you would expect, are absolutely delighted. That's the fourth try. That's a really tough call on Jacques Potgieter. He was just in the action of trying to get the ball. Player diving at the ground, it's very, very difficult. will be the ball game and Sapawanga back in the pocket with the drop goal attempt over and the season is over you would think for the Waratahs now because the Highlanders lead by 30 points to 17 we're going to break an eight year drought in Sydney breaking the hearts of the Waratahs fans So the defending champions unable to go back to back. And we'll look at Aaron Smith shouting at his pack. And now they go out to the left. And Sapawanga across it goes now. And that is the ball game because Patrick Osborne is going to run in the fifth try for the Highlanders. It has been a masterclass from the men from the deep south of New Zealand. Yeah, beautiful play. Really smart. And the Highlanders, they march on into the decider for 2015. Comprehensive victory. Yeah, really smart victory from the Highlanders. Congratulations to them. They played tactically a superb game. 35 to 17, Highlanders over the Waratahs. Yeah, a tactically superb game, what they did. started out in this great Super Rugby competition back in February and now five months later we have just two remaining the Hurricanes and the Highlanders who tonight here in the capital city battle out the fifth all New Zealand Super Rugby final as we've all spoken about during the week the best two teams are in this final Elliot Dixon will lead them out yeah 50th game he has been involved in every single match this year. And Nasi Manu playing in his last game. Mark Reddish, who was with the Hurricanes last year. And there's a good deal of support in the stadium for the Highlanders. And now the turn of the home team, the Hurricanes. They've been the pace setters for much of the season. And just listen to this welcome. should be a blockbuster final. Craven, the, the half errors came from the Hurricanes because of the pressure of the Highlanders. The chase from Fekata to the Sofuanga kick was absolutely magnificent. And I, I just think that the Highlanders have started the way they had to. No points on the board. They might get some shortly. Clever coaching. They will make you think, the Highlanders. Perfect kicking conditions, just to reiterate. Reiterate. 
amazing night here in the capital. First kick of the final. Lima Sopoanga. And go the flags. And the Highlanders lead early. Buckman does incredibly well to keep him down. Look at Aaron Smith there. Little man on a big front rower. The help, I think, of Dixon underneath, but that's brilliant from Aaron Smith. And that's a big shoulder. Brad Shields certainly doesn't miss Osborne. Yeah. Just gives him a nudge in the air. that time but away to the right so two scoring opportunities missed and the Highlanders continue to lead it's it's what both teams have said they're going to do play like they play every week in super rugby even though it's a final they are here to make the most of every opportunity the awareness of Ben Smith in these situations is uh, unbelievable his patience uh, at the back his high kicking has been pinpoint. Fekatawa has made them look even better. Very relaxed on the bench. They know that they're playing the better rugby. I, I, I think they're creating more. Sotawanga's kick. Distance is fine. Accuracy good. Six points to nil. Gets through Sotawanga's tackle, and then Ben Smith comes across, hits him with a good shoulder. That would be a crucial throw, wouldn't it? Again, it's tight in there. Perinara looking wide. Goes wide for Nono! There's the first try. We're not sure. We're not sure yet. It's all they wanted to look at was the grounding. No problem with that. He bangs it down, Martin Nonu. After all their efforts and hard work, the Hurricanes, as you can see here, this will clearly show that he just bangs it down. No problem with that whatsoever. A simple pass from TJ Perinara, and then it was just the raw power of Ma'anonu to get past the defending on it. Charged by Vicky Toa, Aaron Smith holds it up. Now he gets it away. Dixon in a bit of space. Elliot Dixon still going. Close. Oh, I think he got it down. How strong is he? I think he thinks that it's it's worth a look. Oh, I think he banged it down. He's not convinced himself, but now then, this is the all important grounding. Oh, the heel is it of Mama Scudder? It is. So close. Bench, the Highlanders bench on that replay say he scored. That's the bench, not the ref, I might hasten to add. Oh, I think he's... I think he's, there's grass. Yeah, there is. grass, isn't there? Yeah, there is, with pressure. Oh, yes, you may. The try is given. Oh! -ho! They go to Broadhurst. He immediately drops it off to Shields. And Shields held in. The referee's got the arm out. So here's Bowden Barrett. And it is drifting towards the post. And this time the flags go up. And it's 13 to 8. Have a look at Nola here. He got into position early. And he was certainly supporting his own body weight. As the Hurricanes try to defend this attack from the Highlanders. Now Ainley takes it in. Looking to work it towards Naholo's wing. Here's Dixon. Naholo gets it down. Well, if you're on your feet, I can understand why. If you're a high of the supporter, that was brilliant. Watch this from Sopawanga. It does enough to hold two defenders. Then Dixon makes a brilliant decision close to the line. He spins out of Naholo, bangs it down. And how often did he feature in that? Right from the time that he got the turnover, remember, as Naholo got the turnover, it started the 
the attacking situation. He was in it two or three times. Wonderful pass here. They used Christie as the decoy runner. Dixon, with the confidence of the try in the first half, could have had another crack, but he thought, no, I'll give it to this bloke because he's been in a finishing mood. 18 to 8. Conversion to follow. Keeping's been very good. And just off the outside of the upright. He's been tenacious, really. Just didn't at any stage cleanly release him. Another big kick. There's Bowden Barrett. And he struck it nicely. And he's picked up the three points. It's 18 to 11. Well, they've just conceded three points in the Highlanders. Opportunity to grab those three back. Those posts look a long way apart for him at the moment. If he's ever going to miss, you've done it to him. Ah. <laughs> Great builder. He heard you, Smithy. Cooked him. He was really well chased by Perinari. He won't give up all day. And his Fiki Toa picks it up. Bowden Barrett. And he does so. So he kicks his third penalty goal in the second half. You kind of sense a bit of a momentum shift. Inside the 22. Still there. Another drop kick perhaps. Home backs again. Lining up for a drop kick and he's using good footwork. Hurricanes came at him quickly. Now here's Dixon. Outstanding game from Elliot Dixon. Aaron Smith again. Now, drop kick from Banks. He's got it. Barney Banks drops the goal, and it's a seven-point advantage. It's going to be there again for Aaron Smith. There goes the siren. Smith's going to bang it into touch. Disappointment for Highlanders fans. They won the Super Rugby title. Incredible scenes here. Look at the emotion. Oh, you've got to feel for the Hurricanes. You really do, but what a moment for these individuals, for these players, for this franchise. Let's not forget they never handed up the lead. In front with Sotuanga's boot, and they never handed up the lead. Absolutely fantastic group of players. What great spirit! What great excitement for those people down south. I'm sure there's one heck of a party in the lead. The number Cargill, Pomeroo, all members of this very, very proud franchise. Look at the motion, Nasi Manu. What a way to say goodbye. Joseph doesn't normally show a lot of emotion, but there's plenty there tonight. Oh, you know, I'm so proud of the boys, and you know, we always we always believed that we could if we performed well on the day, and yeah, just really proud of the boys, and yeah, what a way to what a way to end it to rugby. Oh, now see, there's one last thing to do, and I'd ask Greg Joubert to grab this mighty trophy and ask you boys to come forward and receive the Super Rugby Trophy for 2015, your champion Highlanders.